Michael Lavoie and Tammy Fryer could do little but sit and watch as attorneys made the closing arguments to decide the fate of their family. These are two beautiful children, yes, with special needs, but they have made strides and are thriving in foster care. I'm asking you to terminate these parents' rights. I feel bad for them, of course, they're human beings. But I feel worse for these girls. Next came Lavoie's attorney, Jack Bergman. There's been a lot of testimony. We don't know what the future is going to bring with these parents. We don't know. They could work a case service plan has been has been testified to here. They could not work a case service plan. We don't know. What we're simply asking is that the court give them an opportunity to work this case service plan. Prosecutor Phil Strom said the family would still have obstacles, even if reunited. And if regressions take place uh, in the future that are, are serious and would warrant termination of parental rights, I would not hesitate in making that recommendation to the court. Uh, but at this time, I think the guardian's request is premature. But as has happened in this case, there were contentious moments. I can't say what you don't know about this case, or you can't say you would have filed for termination had she died, or you wouldn't have. I don't know what more information you would have had to have. Well, that's not what happened in this case, and I have it. It's Mr. Strong, it's a very real possibility. This is not an abstract possibility. You've been working on this case since March, and you can't answer it one way or another? I can't. That's all I need to hear. Thank you. This case is about redemption, this court case. And what the court has to decide, Your Honor, are the parents' past redemption. And that choice is now in the hands of Judge Robert Goble Jr., who expects to hand down a decision in about two weeks. Mark Cowman reporting for TV6 News, Escanaba.